Welcome everybody. This tutorial is going to be a pretty cool tutorial on doing a kind of introduction to heroes. And the hero I'm going to be making is not going to have like items and be a complete complete Warcraft 3 hero, but it will be uh it will have leveling, it will do attributes, um some abilities that you can level up and uh I think that's it. experience gaining. Um but that's about what I'm going to show here and it's kind of interesting because we don't have any heroes to work from like we did with Warcraft 3 until we get the release version of StarCraft 2 so it's a lot of what the communities come up with right now is what I'm showing here and uh, this is in patch 13 of the StarCraft 2 beta and why don't we go ahead and start making the map now so let's go to file new and just make something random here and um, okay that is good so right away, um, I'm going to be making the hero, I pre just press U to go to units. Um, I'm going to be making the hero a uh, zealot, or zealot as people say. And I'm going to make making the creeps that he can kill just be uh, zerglings. So uh, in the unit tab on the left, click on uh, whatever you had there and make it player uh, 1. And then switch to Protoss instead of zerg as I had it and let's just make a zealot somewhere in the map and I'm going to zoom in here a bit so the zealot's placed and then let's switch to 15 hostile and switch to zerg and then let's place some zerglings around here 15 hostile, player 15 hostile is a good uh, just random player to have to fight your guy so I'm just like I'm just spamming a bunch of zerglings around the map around the zealot that we just placed earlier so we have enough to level up from. Okay, and that's pretty much all we need in the map. It's kind of ugly, but that's all we need. To, uh, that's all I need here to show you how to do leveling. Um, you can apply it to whatever your map, whatever map you're making. And I will be uh, putting a link to download this map um, in the description from now on, or for this and from any videos now on, so uh, people don't have to sit through me talking. And anyway, so we've got everything placed here. So let's go right in the data editor. There's going to be no triggers in this tutorial. And um, so let's do first thing is let's go to our, uh, well not R, let's go search for Zergling in the search bar under units and click on Zergling here and let's change his his combat kill experience is fine, let's leave that as 5, um, we're just going to work with that. But let's go scroll down the uh, unit fields and go to, uh, let's see, where is it? stats life maximum and let's make that 15 so it can be killed in uh, one hit from a zealot and stats life starting amount is going to be 15 as well and uh, now that we've got that we need to lower their damage so in the tree view on the left click on the zergling claws damage effect and double click on combat amount and change it from 5 to be 1 so our zealot will last a bit longer and uh, that's good and now let's search for zealot Okay, and now let's click on the Zealot unit and uh, double click his abilities. Let's get rid of charge, let's get rid of rally, let's get rid of warpable, press OK. Double click on his command card field and then click on charge, the charge icon, and press the red X on the right. And do that for rally point and command card 2 should be empty, yeah. So that's good, press OK. And um, we're going to get rid of his shields as well. Uh, shield maximum 0. Shield regeneration delay zero, shield regeneration rate zero, and shield starting mount zero. So that's all good. And under unit attributes, uh, I'm going to uncheck light and check heroic. You could check whatever you want, but the key here is to have heroic. And then under unit flags, double click it and scroll down and check off hero. There we go. So that's just all the setup stuff you want to do. And I think that's all we should do here. Um, let's save. So save this as hero tutorial okay and um, one sec guys just minimizing something um, let's go to our behaviors oh there it is right there so go to the behaviors tab delete zealot from the search bar um, and right click and just go add object and for the name put uh, strength so we're gonna make strength first and click suggest behavior type is attribute and the rest leave and press OK so strength, maximum points, you can change this to whatever you want, you know, if you're making like 
a World of Warcraft RPG, you want it to be like a thousand or even higher because you might have a lot of levels that this will eventually get hit, but I'm just going to leave it at 255 because we're not even going to come close to that. Um, so anyways, let's go to modification and double click modification. There we go. And then go to unit. And what we're going to make strength do is add 15 health to the hero whenever he levels. So let's go to scroll down the unit tab of the modification window, which I'm doing right now, and find vital max uh, bonus. I believe that's what we want. Yeah, it's near the bottom. Vital max bonus, click on life, and then in the selected values area, type uh, 15. And there you saw it there, and press OK. So strength will just add health. That's all it's going to do. And that's all we need for strength. So let's right click in the behaviors area and add another object. And the name for this object will be agility. And this is the second uh, attribute I'm going to be doing, and the last attribute. Leave it as attribute, and the rest is OK, and press OK. Now, agi agility is going to modify the damage, so double click modification again and go under combat and damage dealt unscaled make it one in me uh, melee and one in ranged just in case you had like a ranged hero or something and you would want to do spell and splash too if you had more heroes that were using this so now um, now he'll get one damage each level when we set up the actual leveling so press OK and you could set up multi other stuff there like uh, Hold on, that takes a long time to double click. You could set up other stuff like uh, attack speed multiplier, increase movement speed, um, do other stuff, weapon stuff. So anyways, that's all I'm going to be doing. And we're going to leave that. So now we have these two attributes and we need to make a leveling behavior as well. So right click add object and let's make level, name, name it uh, levels. I guess levels is good. Suggest. Um, and you don't have to suggest, but it's good because it's like the internal editor ID. So it's good to make it the same thing. And let's make this veteran C. And that's sort of what leveling is. And press OK. So now levels, we have this. And you can see it's experience fraction. So you get it from one kills, etc. Uh, that's fine. Pretty much everything here is fine. Except what we need to go under is double click veteran C levels plus the field for it. And in here, let's right click in here and click in the top uh, area and add value. So this index zero, so I mean this first level. And it's going to require 20, maybe 20 experience to get to the next level. And then click on the behavior tab under modification. And under attribute changes, click the little, little green X. And then I've select the uh, strength attribute that we made in the drop down list. There we go. And make it one. And control C, control V. You can, you can copy these, which is a great thing. And change this one to agility. So at this level, it's going to add one point to strength and one point to agility. And Blizzard, nicely enough, gave us the ability to copy paste the actual veterans levels too. So let's copy this veterans level and then paste it. And then make this one, this level requires 22 more experience. And it's going to add one to strength and one to agility as well, so we don't have to change anything. And copy paste again. This level is going to require 24. And copy paste, 26. Copy paste, oops, 28 experience. And you can keep going until, you know, if you had 60 levels, this is going to take a while, but it's what you have to do when you're making a big map. So 32. I'm just going to go to maybe 9, because it'll be 0, 1, 2, all the way to 9 is 10 levels. OK. And that's one, this one requires 38. OK. So each one of these is going to add 1 to strength and 1 to agility, and they all require this amount of experience individually, not cumulatively, which is how it used to be. But anyways, um, so that's good. So let's press OK. And... Uh, I think I've done everything right, but uh, you never know. So let's save it, and let's go back to the unit and find our uh, Zella. There we go, the green one. And now under Behaviors Plus, let's double-click that field, press the green X, and let's add Agility. 